Hey guys. So apparently, oh my god, King Charles has my screen is a mess. Two seconds. King Charles is um I can't. I don't know why. I think maybe. Sorry about that. My screen is always filled with goop. Um. So King Charles is um so gooky. Something so gooky. <laughs> Sorry about the the movement. Okay, I'm gonna try to be very steady from here. Okay, so King Charles is portrait has been vandalized. Remember the one I dubbed Charles the Vindictive? Remember this, Charles the Vindictive? I said it looked like he was in Dante's Inferno and that um, I dubbed it Charles the Vindictive and, you know, everybody had something to say about it. And apparently some activists have gone into the church where it's currently displayed and they have vandalized it. It says here from CNN, activists from an animal rights group have vandalized the first official portrait of King Charles currently on display in a London gallery. It says campaign group Animal Rising posted a video on its social media channels on Tuesday showing two activists using a paint roller to stick signs over the portrait of the monarch. Wow. Members of the public have been free to visit the portrait of the monarch, which is on display at the Philip Mould Gallery in central London until June 21st. I thought it was going to be in a church. Oh, the painting, the first official portrait of King Charles as monarch, raised eyebrows when it was unveiled earlier this year. Art artist Jonathan Yeo, Yeo depicted the king against a backdrop of crimson red brush strokes, sparkling mixed reactions. So apparently the activist covers the king's head with an image of the British cartoon character Wallace from the Wallace and Gromit comedy series. A speech bubble sign was then also tacked onto the painting with the following caption. No cheese, Gromit. Look at all of this cruelty on RSCPA farms. The action was designed to bring attention to a new report released on Sunday by the group, which investigated 45 farms whose welfare standards are guaranteed by the Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. The RSPCA's assured scheme promises that animals in protected farms are given more living space and are never kept in cages. Meat, fish, and dairy products produced by these farms are marked with the RSCPA logo. Animal Rising described their findings as damning, alleging that they found severe animal cruelty at all the farms visited. Wow! Says here, last month, King Charles became the royal patron of the RSPCA. In a statement provided to British newspapers, The Telegraph, an animal rising activist explained, with King Charles being such a big fan of Wallace and Gromit, we couldn't think of a better way to draw his attention to the horrific scenes on RSPCA assured farms. Even though we hope this is, a, is amusing to His Majesty, we also call on him to seriously reconsider if he wants to be associated with the awful suffering across farms being endorsed by the RSPCA. Mm -hmm. During a 2012 engagement at Clarence House for the late Queen Elizabeth's Diamond Jubilee, Queen Camilla told a group of children of her husband that Wallace and Gromit are his favorite people in the world. Wow. <laughs> Wow, this painting is bad luck, you know, clearly from the start. It's just bad luck. And I can't even believe that he agreed to have it displayed, honestly. I mean, it's fitting in, in a certain way, but it's just like in his place, I definitely would not have approved displaying the, the painting because... They will clean it up, but this isn't the first time that it's going to be vandalized. It, they, people are going to find it, you know, vandalize this painting for forever for different reasons, different causes. And I don't know how much, I think, isn't it $8 million that they paid for this painting? I'm sure that it, they have insurance on it, but I think their insurers are going to um, jack up the premiums because 
this is going to be very, very expensive to, to keep safe. You know, I mean, it is, um, you know, I mean, say what you want about Jonathan Yeo and what his intentions were with this painting, but it definitely isn't a painting that's going to be ignored, you know, and if nothing else, I think that that makes it a successful work of art. I mean, no one is going to ignore this painting. Um, at the same time, because of the subject matter, because of the times in which we live, because of the, the style of the painting, um, because of all of the controversies involving the royal family these days, I mean, there's going to be a lot of attention that's put on these paintings and or this painting and I just think that they're going to permanently shelve this one I think but I do wonder what consequences if any the animal rights activists will face because I mean do you can you just do something like this to an eight million dollar painting and there are no repercussions I don't know what do you think you guys and do you think it was a fitting um, you know, I mean, a fitting act of vandalism. I mean, I don't know. What do you think about this, you guys? Tell me in the comments.